This is Tony Arena's House of Horror, August 4th, 2021. I'm opening up the door to the second floor of the museum. Over here, we have some pictures of dinosaurs. And a doctor that hasn't had a sandwich in a long time. Then we have some puzzles framed. Then we have some posters. Some more posters. Then we have a few framed pictures of some famous individuals. Now we're going further up the steps to the second floor museum. Picture of Dr. Shock and Bubble signed. And then we got the hanging man just hanging around. A little Godzilla shrine in the corner. A bunch of keys from as uh, souvenirs from wherever me and uh, Debbie went on vacation. More pictures on the wall. We're almost at the top of the steps. Then we have a signed uh, article of uh, Ben Chapman, Chapman, who played the original creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, another autograph by uh, Julie Adams, who played the uh, female in the picture. Uh, some more posters on the wall. Then over here to the right, we have Hawthorne Village Houses, Universal Monsters, and the Monsters theme. They get plugged in when I know I have visitors coming. More posters on the wall from the dollar store. Then we have in the bathroom some more photos. And then we have Mr. Skeleton just hanging around. We have the original script of Abbott and Costello's Who's On First, a vampire survival kit, a uh, very interesting uh, psycho uh, shower curtain, a bunch of uh, movie posters, horror, sci-fi, uh, Marvel, a creepy clown, and then over here we have my uh, vintage wrestling figures from back in the day. Very few modern ones, but there are a few, like John Cena and The Rock, but mostly back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Then we have more photos on the wall. Uh, medieval chess set. Some more characters. Universal Monsters uh, cookie jar set. Then we have a Three Stooges section. And then going out here again, we have the first life-size Frankenstein monster creature that I created. Then we have a grave digger, the Wolfman, uh, the postage stamps of the Universal Monsters framed, and one of my favorite uh, items is the uh, war monster model boxes silk screened on a lampshade with the uh, bottom made into a uh, the light uh, 
creepy clown. And we have our second life-size creature, the Wolfman. And he's actually wearing some of my clothes back in the day. Then we have the main part of the collection with all the 8-inch and 12-inch figures of Universal Monsters. Life cast of Peter Lorre, Lon Chaney Jr., Basil Rathbone, Bella Lugosi, Charles Lawton playing Quasimodo, and the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Christopher Lee, John Carradine, we got Vincent Price, and even Jack Nicholson in The Shining. We got some little big heads on a top shelf. Caricatures of the Universal Monster figures, color and black and white. More posters. We even have stuff on the, uh, the floor. Lots and lots of figures. 12 inch, 8 inch. The original United States Post Office stamps of the Universal Monsters when they were 32 cents a piece. Another vampire survival kit. And the Frankenstein monster played by Bella Lugosi. We got some King Kong figures along with Godzilla. Three headed. Monster Zero, Gehedra. More creatures. On this side of the room, I uh, just recently got the uh, Alien Face Hugger replica. And these are all my masks. Tor Johnson, the Mole People. I was a teenage Frankenstein. Christopher Lee is Dracula. Oliver Reed as the Curse of the Werewolf. And Mr. High Calendar Mast. And yeah, of course, you have Jason and Freddy. And the King, Boris Karloff. Just recently got the Reptile from Hammer Horror. Then we have Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman. And of course, the original Lon Chaney Sr. as the Phantom of the Opera. Leatherface, Frankenstein and the Monster from Mel, Hammer Horror, and Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. And we got the Elephant Man, Quasimodo, Mon Chaney Sr., Bella Lugosi's Dracula, Christopher Lee's Frankenstein Monster, a Creature from the Black Lagoon, and of course, Linda Blair and the Exorcist, again, Lon Chaney. Senior as Phantom of the Opera, Christopher Lee's The Mummy, Liam Neeson as Darkman, and of course Frankenstein. Then we have Star Trek The Next Generation and the original series, figures from The Outer Limits and The Twilight Zone. Then we have Frankenstein, Beloved. Some more posters. Uh, Abbott and Costello. Charlie Chaplin. George Burns. Then we have Laura Onardi, the Three Stooges. And we got a superhero section of the various Marvel superhero characters. Then we have Pirates of the Caribbean, the Planet of the Apes, and we even have Hogan's Heroes figures, Get Smart, and then up here, more Planet of the Apes and Beetlejuice. Going around, and there's a framed article when they did a 
story of myself and my collection in 2010, October 31st, in the Philadelphia Inquirer. More scenes. Then we have Jaws. Some build up models and aromas. Now we're going into the back room. Again, we have some framed pictures that I've put together. And then we have the modern day sci-fi and horror figures. Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, even Hannibal Lecter at the bottom, and Beetlejuice, and Barnabas Collins. Uh, then we have some classic it was so thoughtful of you to wake me from my slumber movie I hate to think I was missing figures as Frank Sinatra John Wayne Groucho Marx W.C. Fields and Mae West all, and then we have Wild Wild West <laughs> Gilligan's Island It's a Wonderful Life to the Brady Bunch and the Honeymooners down to the Beverly Hillbillies and Happy Days. We have the Lone Ranger and Tano. Then the Munsters. And I Love Lucy and the Vita Vita Medjamin. And it even plays the whole skit. Then we have War of the Worlds and Star Trek. The Munster Coach. Then we have dinosaurs to put together balsa wood dinosaurs. They date back maybe to the 60s, mid 60s. What about the bad thing? More dinosaurs. You might hear in the back is my headless horseman. We have a Christmas tree, a black Christmas tree that's decorated. Then we have the skeleton in the cage. Skeleton getting an IV treatment because he's been under the weather. Then we have some dragons. A couple of tin men. More action figures. A life-size mummy. A witch that uh, screeches and moves around the room if you let her. Then we have the original Star Wars figures from the very first movie. And then some of the scenes and vehicles and creatures. Some bigger, Darth Vader, a stormtrooper. Then in the corner here, we have a King Kong. And this is the kinder, gentler section. We have from the TV show, The Dinosaurs. Then we have all the Looney Tunes, cartoons, characters. Then of course, more universal monsters from like Jack in the Box, Burger King, McDonald's. Some souvenir cups from Star Wars. And then over here, of course, we have more cartoons. Plush dolls. I even have a Space Ghost figure. And then on the wall, we have the original, again, Star Wars figures in a case. Then we have the Wizard of Oz, a complete set. And then we have Popeye, the Jetsons. Yogi Bear, Chipmunks, Flintstones, Casper the Friendly Ghost, Woody the Woodpecker, Scooby-Doo, and you have to have Rocky and Bullwinkle. So we're going to go back out into the main room. I can't tell you. 
And over here in the bottom shelves, again, we have superhero figures and they're dating back to the mid 60s. So tours are available. You just have to reach out. Tony Arena at Verizon.net. And we can make an arrangement for you to come and see the collection. It's quite expansive. And it's well worth the uh, price of free. So check it out. This will be on YouTube. And if you're a fan like I am of classic Universal Monsters, horror, and sci-fi, it's well worth checking out. Thank you.